Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, we've been off uh, our, uh, our uh, video upload schedule. We have had a uh, horrific couple of weeks, yeah. just to let you know, uh, we, uh, we lost Coach. Um, we miss her a lot. But uh, we're gonna talk about our uh, half marathon at Disneyland, so stick around and we'll uh, share a lot of info with you. So, uh, as many of you may know, uh, we made a massive move, and we moved to uh, Marshmallow World. Yeah. Uh, and and because of the move, and I mean, if you've ever moved, you know how how uh, that just upends your life. We decided to try something we had never done before, and we reached out to a um, vacation planner. We have to say a huge thank you to Stephanie Martin with the Vacation Year because easy, breezy. It was. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Stephanie. I mean, yeah. she, she like, I mean, she was working in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. just trying to get us reservations and, and just working through the, the craziness of getting us all set up for our Disneyland, mm -hmm. uh, half of our coast to coast challenge. Yeah. Every little thing that you have to remember to do, she remembered to do for us. <laughs> yeah. And kept in touch with us. The communication mm -hmm. was awesome. Everything was absolutely Pricing out perfect. different hotel options. Oh my gosh, like it was great. So, uh, Thank you, link in the description. If you have any, any desire to like not go through the headache of planning something, Stephanie will do it for you and it'll be fantastic. Yeah. It, it really was. So thank you again. Um, so, uh, what about our trip? All right. You want to talk about Coast to Coast first? Uh, well, let's talk about going from coast to coast. All right. All right. Okay. So, uh, our, uh, our, uh, half of a half mm -hmm. or sort of half of a half, we'll put a link up Slightly there. Slightly more than half yeah. of a half. And then, uh, you know, all of that, you can watch, you can watch our videos on that. And then mm -hmm. we, uh, finally. So finally, it's time to go to California. So, uh, if you recall from our last video about Florida, we ended up with like two or three hours of sleep. Yeah. leading into our big travel day to go to California. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we roll out of bed. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me back up. If you recall, Southwest Airlines <laughs> destroyed our oh luggage on the way to Florida. Yeah, that's right. So first things first, we had to tape up the suitcase, <laughs> uh, which, if you recall from two years ago, is um, <laughs> apparently becoming a thing for us. Uh, that yeah. suitcase, we can't blame so, Southwest for uh, that. So we're going to start putting uh, packing we're just tape. Gonna, it's going to be on the packing list. list. <laughs> we need tape, yeah. either packing or duct, yeah. uh, apparently, because but, our but, suitcases fall apart. But... but South, Southwest did come through, they came through and they replaced our luggage. We got a nice shiny new suitcase and, and, that doesn't look like it will crumble into yeah, pieces we, if it gets run we, over. I think we made the brilliant decision to buy soft-sided luggage. <laughs> so if it does get run over, listen. it's not going to crack. Oh, jeez. Anyway, okay, so we, we taped that. up our janky suitcase, yeah. um, you know, packed up all of our stuff, returned our ridiculous rental car, huh. uh, get to the airport. We've got, it seems like we had enough time, mm -hmm. but for some reason, and everybody tells us this. Mm -hmm. Even the TSA pre-check line at the Orlando airport is rough. Even at four in the morning, yeah. five in the morning probably by that point, it we waited there for so yeah. long. We barely made it to our gate yeah. in time for boarding. Almost missed our flight. We, <laughs> we, uh, um, so we roll up. We it's like five minutes before we start boarding. We barely have enough time to go to the bathroom. We didn't have enough time to get breakfast. You know. <laughs> Travel woes continue, but at least this flight was like on time yeah. and a direct flight. And direct, yeah. Um, and no more luggage was destroyed. Right. Uh, so we get on the plane again. We had like two hours of sleep. It's like a so, five hour flight, right? Yeah, it's yeah, a long it was flight. Long, but so, we, we finally got to sleep. <laughs> Orlando to LAX, we slept pretty much the whole. Yeah. The whole thing. I would like wake up when a flight attendant would come by and grab some food <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. or a drink, and then you know hold on to it if you were asleep yeah. uh, for you to wake up. Yeah, and it, like it was, yeah. yeah. So we get to California. Yay! Yay. Five hours later, five hour nap later, we get mm -hmm. to California. Um, we get a car service when we go to California. It is normally great, and this one was great too. Yeah. But, out, of, uh, out of LAX, we landed in LAX. Thank time. you. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was, it was uh, frightening. 
it was it's like, like a zen exercise for me <laughs> getting in a cab yeah. or getting in um yeah. you know some kind of rideshare type mm -hmm. thing where you just kind of have to like let go and know no, the things are going to be okay or yeah. or they're not whatever yeah. it's you're not in control yeah. so just like sit back and enjoy the 200 mile per hour ride that's what it was i mean uh, we, we hit speeds uh you know i don't know 90. We, we were we were up there yeah uh, but yeah. we made it to the hotel yeah. um they actually let us so we stayed at the westin mm -hmm. um very nice hotel mm -hmm. yeah yeah so um yeah we love that hotel it's a great um i feel like it's a really really fancy room for the price mm -hmm. um it's less than any of the disney hotels oh. probably more than some of the hotels around there but yeah, it's but it's a lot it's less than so disney nice hotels. and it's, it's such a, a nice room. i mean walking distance to the park mm -hmm. and as it turned out mm -hmm. uh, a perfect location to walk to the starting yeah line, uh, it was so um it's just we lucked out on that gosh i don't remember like half a mile it was yeah. less than a mile to get to the start line yeah, it was nice. um so anyway. we get there and we check in mm -hmm. um and it's like nine in the morning right like it's early yeah. but they still let us um Check in. They let us check in. They had a room ready for us. Sure, really we nice. got the room. Yeah. Um, we also saw a little sign that said, if you bring your bibs to the concierge, they have little runner's bags for oh, us. So yeah. that was awesome. when we got our bibs, we got a little bag that had a bottle of water, uh, some liquid IV packets, and uh, some trail mix. So that was nice. Yeah, and I have never had liquid IV. I'm, I'm sold. It was tasty. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. really good. And the packet was, was like really big too. It so it's like, you could, you know, fill up a, mm -hmm. a good size yeah. uh, a water bottle. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. So it was a nice welcome, yeah. welcome bag for each of us. Yeah. yeah. So we got in and we dropped our stuff and we went to the park. Yay! Yay! Uh, so we went to Disneyland. We ate like six breakfasts because we were, you know, <laughs> yeah, right. We hadn't eaten yeah. and we were hungry. Yeah, we went, we're always uh, hungry, yeah. but it was yeah. nice. It was really nice. Uh, <laughs> it was sunny. It was cold. It was really cold. <laughs> it was so cold. It was cold. very cold. Both there and in Florida. Yeah. It was so cold uh, the whole trip, but and, it's okay. And, you know, not to be a, a drama or a complainer, uh, I was getting sicker. You know, I don't know. If, if, you, if you watch the previous video, I got sick. Um, and I was getting yeah. sicker and I was, uh, I was losing my voice and I was not feeling well at yeah. all. So, you know, going around the parks, it was nice. It yeah, was fun. It was we nice. love, we love the, we love Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. It's my so favorite. Yeah. It was really nice. Yeah. So we, you know, we made it through most of the day and I think around like four, you started to fade yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So we decided to, um, head over to the expo. We didn't really have a plan for when we were going to hit the expo. I think we thought maybe it would be Saturday. Mm -hmm. Um, just because that was our off day, but you know, it was like, you know what? Let's go do something different. Let's get out of the parks. Yeah. You know, we'll just we'll go to the expo, and then we'll go to dinner, and then see how you feel. And as it turned out, that was it. We went yeah. to bed after that. Yeah. But um, we met up with our wonderful <laughs> friends, uh, yeah. Andrew and Aaron, mm -hmm. and uh, we we went to the expo, and that was okay. Weird. <laughs> so you know, we've been through several Run Disney expos in Florida. This right. was our first one in California. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I don't know if I just slipped up in my planning, which is possible because, you know, I knew we were going to go to the Disneyland Hotel uh, Convention Center. I don't know if I missed specific instructions on where to go, but in the Florida races, they have very clear maps for every single step of the way yeah. of where you're going to go for everything. Yeah. And I don't remember seeing that for Disneyland. At any rate, we showed up. We didn't know where to go. Well, and that's crazy, too, because the Florida Expo, it's spread out over a mm -hmm. massive area through multiple buildings. But it's very kind of, it's coordinated, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you're going to go here, you're going to go here, you just follow, and you do it. I mean, it's not, like, fun. <laughs> but, I mean, it's it's like, it's logical, I guess, yeah. is, is the deal. But here we are. And, and it's, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. So we, we walked in, and the first, there's like a wall of, cast members or volunteers, I don't know, probably cast members, standing there, and they said, okay, bit pick up to the left, to the left, everybody, to yeah, the left, yeah. go to the left, go to the left. So we went directly what? left, totally missed the sign that said, uh, yeah, t-shirt swap -a -roo or whatever. <laughs> and you know, we do, 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 walk in there, which again, was the most left you could go. Yeah. Anyway, so they were like, no, 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 you need to go there. Okay. It, it so, was weird too, because, uh, and, and I'm not I'm not talking down about how how the cast members uh, uh, did an awesome job because they did, but there was a lot of yelling, like from them to mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. to people about where to go, how to mm -hmm. go, no that way if you're late, just so like a lot yeah. of yelling in a confined you know 
hotel and and it was just very like frenetic and mm -hmm. and it's like this is weird yeah it's weird yeah anyway <clears throat> so we got our we got our bibs got i them. honestly have no recollection of doing this <laughs> our our friends andrew and aaron took some pictures yeah. like i video, i, I guess i was still tired yeah. or something yeah. like, i i don't remember yeah. Picking up the bib. Yeah. Other than uh, they gave us a wristband for the coast to coast oh, right. that we had to keep on for the next four days. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. So I vaguely remember doing that one year when we did a challenge for um, Star, Star Wars, Wars yeah. um, that Absolutely. we had to wear a, wear a wristband for yeah. the, the remainder of the Those trip. are not the most comfortable bands to yeah. wear for uh, multiple days. Yeah. So we walked around. Then we then we finally went to the right place to pick up our t-shirts. Yeah. Uh, I had ordered uh, an extra large. <laughs> uh, and I put it on. Uh, I think we have a picture of that. It was like a small. It was so, it, it was an extra large, but oh my gosh, it was so small. Yeah. I mean, the, the the sleeves were like three quarters. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty small. Yeah. So we went. We knew where to go to get the t-shirt swap, yeah. but they didn't have any double XLs. Yeah. No. Um, so we're like, oh, that's a bummer, or whatever. Let's go out. And so we, we went out, we looked at the medals, took some we took some pictures, and we yeah. were just kind of standing there for yeah. a while. Aaron went to the expo. We don't, as you know, we are. Yeah. We, we are introverts and have a hard time at expos, <laughs> yeah. so we weren't planning on going to it. Of course, we had to walk through it to get to the exit. Yeah. I understand they have yeah. to do that. We were just kind of standing um, there. But we were waiting. Aaron went shopping. Oh, Aaron, very sweetly, went to the expo to buy us these magnets to clip on our uh, Oh my gosh. Thank you, pins. Aaron. They worked so well. I hate safety pins because I always I have myself. to pin them you on. Do. These are yeah. magnets that hold your bibs they on. They worked. They were perfect. Exceedingly well. Yeah. For no, the no complaints at all. I yeah. mean, they didn't. They Thank didn't you. damage the fabric or the bib, and they stayed on. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. So we're standing there okay. trying to find a dark corner to disappear into. <laughs> And, and then uh, we met Dave and Melissa. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Thanks Thank for watching. You. Thank you for saying um, hi and chatting for a while. And if it weren't for you yeah, guys, yeah, double thank you. Uh, I would not have uh, received a double X shirt, a shirt because uh, the one of the cast members from the uh, T-shirt exchange uh, saw they me. They got a double XL. He ran over to me and he said, a double XL. So we swapped out and it fits. It's great. So thanks again. Yeah. So that's what there. happened shortly after you all left. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. But we took pictures. You know, they had a, a, a really, really neat castle. Uh, uh, backdrop set up in the expo. We took yeah. pictures. Uh, spoiler, uh, not to jump ahead here, but we didn't get any castle photos here either. So, uh, you know, boy. that was the closest we got yeah. to a castle photo from these entire yeah. two races. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so then we went and had dinner and I was out. Yeah. So um, we called in an early night, went to bed, I don't know, like 6 p.m. It felt great. Yeah. Um, got, a, got a good night's sleep that yeah. night. Um, got up the next day, went to the parks again. Mm -hmm. um, this time, in addition to Andrew and Aaron, our friends Becky and Adam joined yeah. us. We had a grand old time. Yeah, we did. Uh, that was the same crew that was there when we got married at Disneyland. So oh, it was yeah. fun to get the band yeah. back together yeah. every once in a while. Yeah, it was great. Um, yeah, we had a great, great really time. Nice. Yeah, it was really, really nice. Great time. And then... And then... We were discussing, at the end of the day... Mm -hmm. Whether or not I would actually feel up to running the next day. Oh, it's not the next day yet. We had a rest day, but still, okay. through the whole weekend, we're like, I was gonna "Are you gonna feel okay?" Yeah, it was. Oof. You know, if you watched our video, I'll put it up here in case you have. If you watched our video of the half at Disneyland, uh, my voice is just about shot. Mm. You know, and I, I was just really having a hard time. But yeah. um, anyway, we got up the next day. Well, so we had we had Saturday, which was a rest day. Mm -hmm. And I spent part of Saturday going down to the CVS at the corner to get you medicine. That's right. Um, <laughs> uh, and then what else did we do? We just love, did lunch and I, we didn't do anything. I, I don't love know what we did. <laughs> uh, bought a bunch of cough drops, yeah. etc. Um, sorry, too much time has passed. I don't remember what we yeah. did. It's not really that important. Uh, we we just, rested. Yeah, we, kept, we, just, we tried to keep. We really our took feet. it easy. Yeah. Um, one thing that we did do that we didn't do. Jeez. A ridiculous sentence <laughs> we hydrated now if you recall the florida race we did the opposite of that and for once in our miserable lives we didn't have to pee every two seconds yeah. in a race yeah. so know. on this one we did hydrate we had some of those liquid ivs that the, the hotel gave us yeah. Um, really tried to be smart because we knew we were running a full 13 miles the next day and you weren't feeling well, so we wanted to make sure we had enough uh, hydration. Spoiler sure. alert. We had to pee so much. We overdid it. I don't know. So I think I think our new plan 
before a half marathon is just to, to have a normal day yeah. and drink maybe one Propel right before bed. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. Like we don't need to do anything else. Yeah. Just a we'll, completely normal day. We'll hydrate on, on the run, you know? Cause so, I, I mean, no, no kidding. I hydrated in the hotel room. We got down to the lobby. I had to go to the bathroom again. And then we're leaving. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta pee again. It yeah. was awful. And so, uh, so anyway. but, but we met up with mm -hmm. Alan and Grace. Yes. And their friend Brandon. Thank you we so much. It. it was, it was wonderful. Uh, so this is race morning now. Jumping ahead. Right. We're now on race morning. Uh, race morning. It's pitch black outside. It's mm -hmm. freezing. Mm -hmm. I it can't talk. It was so cold. Uh, and and they were they were gracious enough to add to our uh, our bling. Uh, thank you, Chris and Breezy. Uh, thank you, Alan and Grace. Uh, uh, really really nice. And then we walked to the starting line. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, it was great weather. It was cold, but it was great weather. It, it's true. It was it was wonderful running weather. But, hey. but waiting around for the race to start, it was a little chilly. It wasn't humid. <laughs> That's true. Uh, oh, no, it was humid. That's why it felt so cold, right? No, no, no. I mean, it's not like the awful humidity of Marathon Weekend where you're like burning up and it's humid yeah, and you're I putting so. sponges on your head. And, you right. know, it wasn't like that. It was, it was a beautiful, beautiful weather day for mm -hmm. running. Cold, but it was nice. Okay. So we get to the runner's area. Yes. Um, we got there pretty early at the recommendation of um, Alan and Grace because apparently the day before at the 10K, the security lines were kind of nuts. So we got there early to avoid that. Um, we got through okay. Yeah. It was okay. Yeah, but we got through and then I turned around. Yeah, and, and then there was... Oh my gosh, yeah. the lines were like getting yeah. really, really long. So perfect timing. So interesting thing about this starting area was that you go through security and there's this kind of area. There's the start line over here. There's corrals you can see like lined up here and over here. Mm -hmm. And then there's like this walled off area. It's like on a parking lot, this completely walled off thing. And that's where they had the bag check. They had more porta potties. They had water, I guess. I, I don't know what else was in there, but that was all that I recall seeing in there. To get in there. A DJ. Oh, was he in there? Hmm. So to get in there, you had to walk. So we came in security over here. Uh, first of all, we tried to go this way because that's the way they did it the day before. Mm -hmm. And then we all get there and they're like, no, 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 you have to go around. So we went all the way around this huge thing to get in here and then had to go like all the way. Here's what I don't understand. Yeah. Why have that blocked off at all? I know. We all went through security. Yeah. We're in the, the runner's area. Yeah. Why have an extra little like blocked off thing? It was weird. It was I don't weird. know why they did that. And there were some people when we were walking back headed for the corrals, there were some people yeah. like, what? you know where do i go and yeah. i you know i need to drop like, my bag well, you know technically my gear it's right bag. there but you have to go yeah, all the way down there go in a little door it and was, come all the way back it was odd and it was so dark i couldn't like make out what was going on you know i mean mm -hmm. it, like i didn't have a sense of where everything was situated because one it was dark there was poor lighting around the porta potties that were on the dirt parking lot area the outside of the outside little of that. thing so it was it was it was just odd. Yeah. It, it was it was weird. Yeah. But you know, we started yeah. heading for the corrals. We got there. Uh, th they pretty were pretty close to when the race was gonna, I guess, start. And they, they were they were small. Uh, yeah. So we walked in and we were like all the way at the back, and there wasn't a whole lot of room. And they kept telling us to push forward, push forward, push forward, which again we were very uncomfortable during. But uh, we squeezed in, and they kept you know more people kept yeah. filing in. They were tiny. And what were we in? E, D, E, E, I think. Yeah. So I think next to last corral, yeah. maybe two from the end. Two from the end. Um, and so we get to go. So yay, we start. And there's not a lot of fanfare. That's fine. We're in the middle of a residential area. Yeah. We didn't expect fireworks. Yeah, unlike uh, unlike Disney World, they're not sending off yeah. fireworks for every corral. Cause I mean, yeah. you're right next to you know residences yeah. and stuff. So. And so uh, race starts. Cool. First few corrals go through. That's cool. And then our corral gets to go, and we're like walking up to the start line. Do 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 do. And again. We weren't at the back. Lots of people yeah. got pushed in behind us yeah. in the crawl. I turn around and we're at the back. I don't know what <laughs> happened. I know. I think I think we just like we uh, like a personal space. Yeah, right. So but we give that space crying. and then people fill it. <laughs> So anyway, we were at the very back of the crowd. Bonus, <laughs> bonus though, we got to see ourselves we were on, on the a jumbo jumbotron. Tron. Uh, I had the stupidest look on uh, huh? on somebody's face ever because I didn't know what I was looking at. But anyway, yeah. you know, it was okay. nice. It was, a, you know, yeah. I, I mean, it was there was a lot of fan fanfare from the fans. There were a ton of fans. Yeah. You know, uh, that early in the morning. You know? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. You know. So the first like long stretch. So we started off. Uh, okay. So here's the bottom of California Adventure, right? 
here's like Cars Land, here's uh, Pixar Pier. Mm -hmm. So we started off over here. So we ran down this way and then down this street and then down this street, Catella, right? And then up this street and then we took backstage in. Uh -huh. So by the time we got, that was all fun and there were people cheering like the whole way around. Yeah. So then we get into here, by here, we're almost like a mile uh -huh. at that point. Like that's how long it took uh -huh. to get around to here. They put a water stop like right after that and like this backstage area that had just gotten a little narrower and that was like bottle number one for us. Yeah. And, and uh, very little lighting. It was dim. I mean, and again, I have I have dark eyes, so uh, when it's dark, I, you know, I have a hard time seeing. But it was really dark, and we're talking about it was really narrow. There was water on both sides, I believe, and we almost came to a stop. We were, we were able to move, but we had to stop running. Like it turned into a walk. So but, people started yelling. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, come on, you know, yeah. and, and it was really, yeah. really tight. Um, it was. So, so well, fine, we made whatever. it through that, whatever, yeah, we made it through. And then we go into the parks, we ran through just about every, you know, square inch of road throughout California Adventure. Yeah, it was pretty neat. It was neat. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the bathroom twice in California Adventure. <laughs> twice in California Adventure, alone. Ugh. So anyway, that, that ate up some of our time. Yeah, it did. But it was beautiful, you know, the lights are all on, everything looks really neat, they're playing yeah, cool. cool music. Yeah. Again, we ran through everything, it yeah. was so cool. Um, and then, as we were exiting <laughs> California Adventure, right by um, Soaring, so in between Soaring and past Grizzly River Rapids, yeah, it's it's right right next to Soaring. Mile three. Mile three. So we're coming around, and then we stop. We're backstage again. No, we were still in the park. Okay, so we're we're coming around that little corner um, towards Soaring from the back way. And we stop. And then we stop, and we're like, what's going on? Like, stop, stop. Can't tell, can't tell what's going on. David can, because he's tall. <laughs> but I can't tell what's going on. None of the people around us can tell what's going on. We're in this, like, mass, and we're not going anywhere. And, you know, I had my, the gym boss going. Um, we were there for four full minutes, because we did two walk cycles and one run cycle while we're in this mass trying to get through. It was a mass four of humanity. minutes. I mean, seriously, stop. And, and... Rightly so, a lot of people started getting kind of agitated yeah. and nervous because, you know, you're stuck well, around people and you can't see. And, and we have a time breathe. limit. Not all of us are fast. Yeah, right. So if you're telling me you have a 16 minute mile and then we add four minutes to our time, like, what? So what they did is they put another water stop at a little On a curve, uh, backstage area. In a narrow. To exit into downtown. With the mile marker that people are stopping for pictures yeah. for. Anyway, and so it, it was, was just a cluster. It was, it was bad. That was bad. It was, it was that was bad. That was not yeah, good. So, um, insult to injury, we got through this mass <laughs> right. and we're in the, what do they call it? Esplanade? Down, yeah, downtown like, Disney. We're, we're in like, like miles of space all around open, us. Yeah. Why not do it here? I mean, it, what? That like, Why? That was the weirdest thing. And yeah. I'm like, they, they really could have figured that out. And I'm sorry, I know it's a half marathon. That's a long way, right? 5K is a long way. 10K is a long way. Half marathon is a long way. Two water stops within three miles. By the miles. third mile. It's like, uh... we Yeah, the first one was kind of, I think they, I think they were trying to keep them backstage. I don't know, for like cleanup. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe access to supplies. supplies. Yeah, I guess. So I, I can understand that, but it made for a really weird experience yeah. as a runner to try to navigate those and again, when there's so much more space elsewhere. And again, look, I'm not, I'm not like talking down about anybody, but if you're running a half marathon, you've got water on you, right? And, and, you know and what? You, we and, didn't for years. I know, but I mean, no. you, I, don't, I don't think you need water at mile one, and I'm not so sure you need water at mile three. Uh, I, I don't yeah. know. I, I just... It, it didn't. It didn't feel like it was well thought out, you know. And, and I mean, yeah. four minutes. Four minutes to go fifty yards. And if that, that. Yeah, that was. I rough. don't think that much. And that was rough. Yeah. It was really rough. Anyway. So then we make it through. We and get we to, to Disneyland. Disneyland. We ran down nice. Main Street. It was cute. They were doing um, projections on all the buildings. Oh, it yeah. looked really cool. Oh yeah, Main Street was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we ran through just about every square inch of road in Disneyland. Yeah. And that was fun. It was fun. Backstage, you know, and then we, when we hit Star Wars, it was cool running right towards the Millennium mm -hmm. Falcon. Yep. And then you made a ride backstage. Out. 
saw some really cool stuff where they parked the steam trains for yeah, maintenance. Yeah, that was awesome. You know, yeah, it was a, a lot of really, uh, really We stopped stuff. at the bathroom in Toontown because, again, <laughs> it's like mile four, so we have to go to the bathroom again. Um, what else? I think I thought, no, I wasn't done. We, <laughs> no, you weren't done, but that was our last stop in the parks, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we didn't get any castle photos. Nope. Um, this race was very, very frustrating with people just jumping in front of you and stopping and yeah. waiting for their picture to be taken. We lost every single photo opportunity yeah. because of that happening. Yeah. It was really frustrating. We, did, we didn't get we any, didn't get any photos. Any from this race. photo pass photos of, of this? Not in the parks. Oh, well, we got a couple. We got a couple, mm -hmm. but not in. Uh, we got a couple in California Adventure. I don't think we got any in Disneyland. No. Anyway, so certainly no no castle picture, but anyway, yeah, whatever, whatever. So uh, then we start to exit the park. We're exiting so the park. we went out this backstage kind of area. Mm -hmm. There was this really cool building back there that had this amazing like awning. awning yeah. I think we got video of that. We'll yeah, show that. Yeah. It was so cool. Yeah, it was really neat. And then we popped out onto um, whichever road that one is. Ball, I think. Oh, I from know. here basically we did this, and then back, yeah. more or less, right? So. Yeah. Then we hit the streets of Anaheim. Yeah, mile five was uh, on a hill just outside of the mm, park, like an overpass thing. And uh, we just, and then it, it opened up, yeah. and we just started running our uh, our mm -hmm. two minute run, one minute walk. Mm -hmm. And you know, honestly, it was it was a uh, it was neat. The streets of Anaheim. I mean, there was so much to see, so many different things to see. They it had was bands. Much they had cooler than I thought it would be. Yeah. yeah. So you know, years and lots ago, of people cheering people. Yeah, out. throughout throughout yeah. um many years ago when we started running together i knew about these races back then we didn't do disney world we only did disneyland and i just as i a, couldn't as a, as a park to go to yeah. i couldn't justify paying the price for a half marathon a disney half marathon when two-thirds of it was running through the streets of anaheim yeah. I take it back. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was, it was neat. Uh, we went by uh, the Mighty Ducks uh, Stadium for hockey. We ran through the Mighty Ducks uh, parking lot. We ran along the uh, the drainage ditches uh, where a lot of famous movie scenes uh, occur, yeah. like Grease or Terminator mm -hmm. 2. You know, that was kind of cool. That was cool. We headed for Angel Stadium. Mm -hmm. Never been there. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, they had band, like marching bands all over the place. Um, and for the first time, I think, in our lives, we didn't get this when we ran by a marching band. <laughs> We actually, we actually heard music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alright, we yeah. saw our friends at mile, uh, what was it, like uh, seven? seven? And then, uh, and then I they, saw them again at mile 11. They I went mean, down to 11. That was awesome. It was just so like, yes. The Awesome. There's some cosplay, uh, Star Wars. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, we saw classic cars. We saw mm -hmm. some souped up cars. Uh, there were some DJs along the route. I mean, and a, just a it lot was a, of it people. Was a good... And and we saw people who have watched uh, our videos. You know, yes. hi again. Thank yes, you so much thank you for. All for saying hi. Um, that was and, neat. That was really neat. And we just kept our uh, our two one, and mm -hmm. we just kept going and going and going and going, and then we crossed the finish line. And we felt fantastic. You know, we did. Uh, now, we're slow. We're slow. Yeah. But we ran the fastest second half of a half marathon sure. that we've ever run. Yeah, we kept our pace, which uh, was amazing. And we, we, we kept a faster pace for the second half mm -hmm. of any race we've ever, ever done. Uh, and when we were done, and I was sick... I, I felt like we could have just kept going. Mm -hmm. it, it was really, really amazing. So I, I think our high elevation training it's really, really paid off. Yeah, it's it, working. I didn't believe people when they told us we would feel great. I'm like, I felt yeah, great. Oh, okay, sure. I mean, we, we even great. looked. We even looked. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I don't know. 
it, it, it was awesome. Crossing that finish line was really awesome. I mean, I felt good that we got to run a full half marathon. Yes. Uh, but we felt great. And, uh, yeah. and we saw Chris and Breezy at the finish line. That was, mm -hmm. that was wonderful. And, uh, and we got our, we got our half marathon medal and then we got our coast to coast, coast medal. Coast medal. And uh, we did it. We did. And then we had fun that day at the park, and then we got on a plane very early the next day and made our way home. By the time we got home, it was snowing again. <laughs> so uh, not as bad of a snowstorm as what we left, yeah. um, uh, you know, a week and a half earlier, but it was pretty bad. Three or four feet fell <laughs> while we were gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. My yeah. folks yeah. Yeah. were here. There was a lot of snow. They were sitting silly milly, yeah. and it was, um, yeah. it was a lot of snow. It was. It was. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it was... Um, you know, the only the only Run Disney frame of reference we have are, are the Run Disney races we've run in Florida, mm -hmm. whether it was Star Wars or uh, Marathon Weekend. Uh, the Disneyland uh, setup was, it was just weird. Different. You know, That's and yeah. um, I mean, you can find issues with, with uh, the way things are run on both coasts, but this one was, uh, it, it seemed a little odd. Odd. But we had a good time. We had a good time. Uh, we did it. Uh, we we love the parks. And, you know, after the race, the next day, uh, we met up with uh, Chris and Breezy. That day. Yeah, that day. Oh, yeah, that day. I'm sorry. Uh, Chris and Breezy, uh, Aaron and Andrew, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, hit the parks and mm -hmm. uh, just had a blast. Uh, 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 we just loved being with, uh, you know, friends, and, and uh, it was great. And I was glad that I was uh, still awake. <laughs> Standing. <laughs> I, could, I could barely <laughs> talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we did it. We yep. did coast to coast. Yeah, we did. Are we going to do coast to coast again? Let's think. Never. Ever. Never. Never. It was too much. It was too much. And we we talked to people. In fact, one of the people who said hello did um, Dopey in Florida, and then did Dumbo the the challenge in California as well. Congrats. Hats off to you. Yeah, congratulations, man. Just doing the two races on back-to-back -back weekends was like too much for us. And we hit the parks pretty hard in between. Yeah. We eat like we're on vacation in between. Yes. And we run yes. to eat. We run to eat and we <laughs> ate a lot. Yeah. Um, but it's like, it was just, it was too much travel. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if we hadn't had such a... Horrific travel day. And a half. Days. So if, if the first leg of our trip had been a little bit easier yeah. travel-wise, maybe we wouldn't have felt so bombed out for the rest of the trip. Mm -hmm. But by the time we got home, we didn't feel like we had a vacation. No. We were exhausted yeah. and we were just so wiped out yeah. from all the travel and the every, like, it was just, it was Yeah, much. you know, it's, so, it's rough. For us. It's rough when, because of the travel, all, all you're remembering are the lowlights. And it's like, oh man. And that doesn't normally happen. No, like, it's like, like I said, so much went wrong on that first Because we had a ton of highlights, you know, highlights in Florida with our mm -hmm. friends and the race and spectating. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it, we had positive highlights. We had a great but, time. You know, when but you get home we and you're like, tired. oh man, yeah. So, no, we are never, ever going to be close to coast. Definitely coast. not on back to back weekends, possibly not even within the same year doing any, like, doing races on either yeah. coast. Yeah, yeah. So. But what are we going to do? So here's what we think we might do. This is a tentative plan for next year. Yeah. Um, so we are DDC members. Um, and what that means is that we have a set amount of points that we use per year. Um, we usually use blow through them all or blow through most of them for a marathon weekend. Yeah. And <clears throat> to book at your home resort, which is um, Willard's Lodge for us, mm -hmm you book 11 months in advance. So normally every other year we've done this, we end up booking our marathon weekend trip in February. This February came and went, we thought about it and we decided we're not gonna. We might, we might still, write, who knows what happens when uh, registration comes. Uh, we'll see. But we didn't book a room uh. for a marathon weekend this weekend, uh, this year. So what we think we might do is springtime surprise next year. Which we've never done. We've never done. Really hoping for a good theme yeah, if yeah. we're going to commit to it. But yeah. so I figure in um, ba -ba 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 May, we'll potentially try to book a room for April of next year. Mm. Um, that happens to be around my birthday. So it'll be a nice little birthday trip yeah, if yeah. nothing else, yeah. even if we don't get into the race yeah, or whatever. Um, that then could potentially, if we keep up our elevation training, 
and we keep up our um, intervals could potentially be a good proof of time for us yeah. because they do accept 10 milers yeah. for the marathon. Yeah. So we might use that, try to work really hard to get a good proof of time yeah. for potentially the following year's yeah. marathon. Yeah. Um, what we think we might do in terms of marathon, because I, I think we'd like to run a marathon. Yeah. Now that we know how good we felt at yeah. the end of a half marathon, oh, yeah. um, going to a much lower elevation here, I think we can train for a full marathon without having to get up into crazy mileages. Yeah. Like I think we can maybe make it to 15 mm -hmm. and be okay at a lower elevation yeah. for a marathon. Yeah. So we're eyeballing the El Paso Marathon. El Paso, Texas. Which is in, um, thank you, because we have, we're doing other travel research right now and there are other El Pasos we're finding. <laughs> yeah. So El Paso, Texas, yeah. which it turns out is much closer to us now than it was when we lived in Texas. Yeah, it's remember. only like six hours away, yeah. a six hour drive. So we think we're gonna maybe plan for that one in February of next year. Um, so for all you folks who will be training for marathon, half marathon, weekend, you know, all that stuff, we will still potentially be training with you. Yeah. Just a few weeks later, yeah. our race will be happening. Yeah, yeah. So that's our tentative plan yeah. for right now. Yeah. Um, and, and that doesn't get us to sea level, but it gets us to like a thousand feet. Yeah. So I think we'll be okay. Yeah, and then you know, uh, maybe we don't know. Uh, we we never ever uh, participated in the wine and dine. Uh, weekend. Yeah, that's a possibility. So, you know that that'll yeah. pop up too. But we're gonna we're gonna train. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna change our tactics a little bit and actually try to get a good proof of time because you know, as as we like to say, the party's always in the back. But, but it'd be nice to kind know. of be closer to the middle sometime. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe get <laughs> one picture with a character. <laughs> I would really like to ride Everest, and where oh, we yeah. our our pace, we can't. No. But maybe if we could start a little bit earlier, yeah. we could ride Everest maybe. at maybe the next marathon weekend. So stick with us. Maybe uh, maybe you can uh, you can uh, cheer us along as we try to make these uh, new goals for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's our recap of uh, the final uh, half marathon of our Coast to Coast Challenge. Thanks so much for walk, uh, watching. Um, you know, like, subscribe, hit notifications. We really appreciate your support uh, in in many ways. We appreciate your support. It was great meeting some of you out there. Uh, Thank you so much for saying hi. Uh, we, we have uh, fond memories of that and uh, look forward to hearing from you. If you see yourself, uh, let us know in the uh, comments, but we're gonna upload as often as we can. It's always an adventure with you. We'll see you soon. <laughs>